Hi everybody, it's Johnny Bowden. How many carbohydrates should a grown man eat every day? What should we aim for? What should the range be? Well, when clients ask me that, there are two metrics I tell them to pay attention to. The first is energy, and the second is waistline. And I'll explain how to use those in just a minute. But first, let's ask ourselves, why do people ask about carbohydrates in the first place? In my experience, 90% of the questions about carbohydrates are coming from people who are concerned about gaining weight. So let's talk about that for a second. There are two major theories about how we get fat, how we gain weight. The first, the predominant theory that's been around since I started and is still kind of the predominant theory in conventional medicine and nutrition or dietetics is that it's all about calories. It's just simple math, simple arithmetic, like balancing a checkbook. If you take in more calories than you burn up, you gain fat, and that's all there is to it. It doesn't matter where the calories come from, carbs, protein, fat, alcohol, doesn't matter, a calorie is a calorie. That's the calorie theory. The second theory, which is now finally really beginning to gain traction, is that calories matter, but they don't matter as much as hormones, particularly fat storage hormones. These are hormones, the job of which is to literally store fat, to take the food that you eat and turn it into fat and get it into the fat cells. You don't want those hormones to be elevated all the time or it will be almost impossible to lose weight. So when I look at a client's diet, what I'm looking at is what is the effect their food is having on their fat storage hormones. Now, you can't walk around measuring your fat storage hormones, can you? You can't do blood tests and there's no device to measure it, but we have a very good surrogate and the surrogate is carbohydrates. Why? Because of all the major food groups, protein, fat, carbohydrates, of all the sources of calories, carbohydrates are by far the food group that raises your fat storage hormones the most. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about these guys, I'm not talking about these brightly colored, wonderful vegetables, for most people, these don't really budge the needle on fat storage hormones. For most people, these are free foods. The ones that really throw the fat storage hormones into overdrive are these. The processed carbohydrates, the god-awful cereals we've been told to eat for breakfast every day, the breads, the pastas, the low-fat blueberry muffins, all of that stuff is sends our fat storage hormones into overdrive. Now, how do you know that your fat storage hormones are not working the way they should be and are perhaps stopping you from losing weight? Let's go back to those two metrics. The first one is waistline. We look for a 35 inch waistline on a woman or a 40 inch waistline on a man as a definite red flag that some hormone deregulation is going on and you would benefit enormously by cutting back on those guys. And the second metric we use is energy. I have found that just monitoring your energy is one of the best ways you can check in with yourself to see if your diet is performing the way it's supposed to be. Are you waking up tired all the time and you feel like you need more sleep and you're dragging through the day and at four o'clock you start to crash and at night you can barely watch TV without nodding out and you feel like you don't have the stamina and the energy you used to have? Very, very likely you're eating too many processed carbohydrates. That is a great metric to use. So if your body doesn't look the way you want it to look, your waistline is expanding. If your energy is really not what you think it should be and what you would be comfortable having, it's time to start looking at cutting out processed carbohydrates. And here's a tip, here's the best punchline of all. Not only will cutting out processed carbohydrates help your waistline, it will help your overall metabolic health. And there's nothing more important than that when it comes to building immunity.